Yo, I'm gonna sound like an Everest video on this one, but so be it. This is some shit. This is a school a nigga can fuck with, you know? You know, enough respect do the world star, you know? But this is uh, Laney College. I'm here in Oakland, California. Um, now peep this, peep this. <laughs> oh, I'm here in a campus of a school, yo, right now, here in Oakland, the G, you know, uh, uh, gate, I guess that would be, or something, or building or whatever, I think it's got a house in the fucking quad that they're building, which I hope ain't, ain't unique to, you know, like this school but then peep so that's people building a house <laughs> cause this impressed the, sh the hell out of me you know and it's like I think all the time about all the practical stuff I, sh I was supposed to be learning when I was in school how much of it is actual stuff that's like uh, replicable provable how much I gotta take someone's word on shit. And look. Here's this. That's the fucking bar station right there. Niggas building a house and a campus. Uh, here's the, the the area of rapid transit. If I sound like uh, you know, Everest or whatever, so be it. But to me, this shit is fly as fuck, so I don't know that I, I would definitely at least take that class, whatever the hell that is, or that path. But, um, because I think I, I, I've spoken before about it, I believe in it, the thing of kindergarten, working with kids young, and how much they could integrate that young into how they are the rest of the way, the whole rest of the way. There's a famous quote by the guy who wrote uh, War and Peace, uh, Tolstoy. Uh, another, uh, another example of something I can't verify. He's a Russian guy that wrote War and Peace. I can't verify the Russian, the guy. Uh, none of that, really. What I can say is, the quote I've heard attributed to, dude, just like I've heard read in the Bible, a lot of quotes attributed to Jesus, <laughs> uh, is that in the first five years of our life, it's what I wrote also, I mentioned it in the, I referred to it in the open letter to Barack Obama that I wrote back in 2007, of there's the marquee on the school too uh, of uh, that the, it's in the in the first five years of our life Tolstoy said he had learned more than he had in the next 50 and figured that that's how what's true of all of us that that, oh, uh, I called it hyperformative stage in the letter I wrote back then. Uh, but the hyperformative stage, you can see the marquee of the school right there uh, in, in the middle of the shot. But I don't know the zoom on this yet. It's not the volume, so. Um, so it, that hyperformative stage is so. Uh, shapes us so centrally uh, and even in in ways that start to repeat themselves uh, patterns that express themselves in our life uh, there's a big movement uh, among a lot of people that work on their life on fixing problems in their past that still bother them uh, called rebirthing so that's a, it's in that, a similar vein to that. 
like in the sense of how do I how do I take back my life from the bad things that any any time they even come up I'm like I like lose my fucking footing and my my goal structure my whole my whole shit kind of like falls off the track anytime I even think of this or if they call me for Thanksgiving if they mention that uncle if this if I see someone a certain height if I see a dark-skinned guy if it's a certain hour and I gotta leave the house I got a whole different way I think because of this one night you know shit like that um you know uh very important to heal because none of us is here to be less than we were before nobody is here for that and um, and anyone that's that's trying to uh, put another person on that path has a problem with me. Uh, but you know, I say I to say like you know, building a house. You know, I'm from New York, but people wonder, well, why why wouldn't I be in no rush? You know, uh, why wouldn't I be in no rush to to uh, Smoking good, good as I am, you know, um, to go bump heads with fucking people, you know. Uh, but happy Sunday, you know, <laughs> uh, and uh, I do believe in love, and uh, I'm working among other things today on like on. Uh, forgiveness, humility, uh, healing, how to meet someone where they can be, because I'm, I'm like late for a lot of appointments, and, uh, it's how I feel in life, you know, been in the street five years, actually my, sh the shoes that i the last shoes I bought even disappeared this morning uh, from my side, but uh, these are actually pretty cool. That's another story for maybe a little later or uh, maybe after others. But um, God bless uh, you all, you know. God bless us. I, uh, I hope we take this opportunity today to, to uh, grow in our ability to trust ourselves and that we have the opportunity to, to at least chat with someone that helps us grow in, in our trust of other people and in the direction of others are going in because when you're dealing with your life sometimes anybody else is everybody else um and we can't always uh you know um share every um share time with everyone you know uh but uh, you can see that I'll close with this what's called in the hip hop game a drop a shout out Oakland Museum of California yo one love to New York <laughs> and uh and this obviously yeah the, the furthest thing from anything that could juxtapose love, anything that sh chooses. Well, what a funny world, right? Uh, blessed be.